Okay, so today we're going to show you a new method of creating a local account from scratch on Windows 11 Home. This means when you're first setting up the computer, there is absolutely no need to log in with a Microsoft account. Now, this works on Windows Home, Windows Professional and Windows in S mode too. This is the first time this actual method has been available on Windows S mode. It works on versions of Windows 11, 23, H2 and 24 H2, the latest version as of November 2024. So stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we are going to show you a new method on how you can set up Windows 11 with a local account from scratch out of the box. Now, as I say, this works on Windows 11 Home Pro and for the very first time also works on Windows S mode. No extra software is required to download. To get this, you can do this, like I say, straight out of the box. There's absolutely no need to log in or set up a Microsoft account to get yourself logged in. So I'm just showing you this screen because what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this computer back up from scratch. So I'm just proving to you that it's already got Windows version 11 version 24H2. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got a Windows uh, with S mode on it, so I can't show you that, but I have been told that it does work. Now, I should say that I am not the person that's found this out. All credit should go to the pineapple over on the Digital Life forums there for finding this absolutely fantastic work. And all this really requires is for you to type in one simple line of code. So without further ado, let's reset this PC back to its factory settings. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can set this back up. And like I say, this will work for brand new PCs as well out of the box. Okay, so you've got your new PC out of the box, you've plugged it into the mains, you've turned it on and you may well see this screen here just a moment. Or if you don't see this screen, then you'll see this come up. Now, don't race on any further here. Now, what you need to do is if you see this screen here, then select what type of English you use. Now, please bear in mind, not many people will see this screen. I've not seen this one before, but if you do see it, just continue. Now, this is the screen you'll probably see. Is this the right country or region? So select your country or your region and then Click yes, select the keyboard layout and select yes. And now this part here, don't go any further from here. What you need to do is move your mouse just above that picture of the keyboard, click on the left mouse button once. And then what you wanna do is you wanna find these three keys. You wanna find the control key or the CTRL key that is located in the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard. You also wanna locate the shift key that is usually above the CTRL key or control key. It usually has the word shift on it or an arrow pointing upwards. The third key you need to find is the J key on your keyboard. J for Juliet. Now hold all these three keys down together and keep doing it until the screen goes dark and you see this prompt up in the top left hand corner of your screen. Then you need to type in this command and that command is win with a capital W, J, S, these are both capitals, all one word, dot application with a capital A, dot restart all in lowercase, then you want an open bracket, a speech mark, ms, all in lowercase, hyphen, cxh, again in lowercase, colon, that's the two dots, one above each other, forward slash, forward slash, all in capitals, local only, no spaces, speech marks, and then you want a close bracket. Now pause this video, double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it. If you make a mistake, this isn't going to work and you may lose your chance of 
setting up with a local account only. Once you're quadruply sure you've got this 100% correct, then press the enter key on your keyboard. The enter key is usually the key in the bottom right hand corner of your keyboard, or it could also be known as the return key. It's also usually below the backspace key on the right hand side of your keyboard. Press this once and then you want to press the escape key on your keyboard. That key is usually located on the top corner of your keyboard. Now, if the escape key doesn't get rid of this, then just click the left hand mouse button once on the screen and then press the escape key again. And as you can see here, you have this new screen come up, create a user for this PC. So it's now asking for a username and this is a local username. So if I click in username just there and I'm just gonna type in my name as I want it and you can enter a password if you want to below and you can also set security questions in case you forget your password. But for the benefit of this video, I'm not gonna set a password. I'm just gonna click next. And then depending on your device manufacturer, it might ask you to create an ID, but this is usually optional. So just keep pressing next. And now it's gonna set up the PC without asking any further questions, hopefully. As it says there, it, this might take a few minutes. And now it's probably gonna ask us some questions, that's it. So I usually just say no to these, but obviously read through all of these questions and answer them appropriately. As I say, I'm just gonna say no or required only. Basically, I always seem to select the bottom answer because it tends to be the most private way of setting up Windows. So I'm just gonna go through these. And as you can see now, there you go. I've gone straight to the Windows desktop very, very quickly without setting up a Microsoft account. I've still got to connect this to the internet. I have to go down here because part of the wizard didn't enable me to set it up with the internet, but that's fine. I can do that after. But just to prove that I've set it up with a local account, if I go into settings and then go to accounts just there, as you can see, there you go, Chris local account. So there you go, that guide showed you how to set up Windows 11 as of November 2024 with just a local account, quick, easy and simple. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X, I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.